World champion Graham Hill is a winner in the fastest, most exciting business there is, driving a race car. He has been five times Monte Carlo GP winner. He became the only man to win the Triple Crown of World Championships, Indianapolis and Le Mans. Your performance on the track more or less mirrors your, the, the sort of chap you are, the character you are, and you can see this in the, in the other drivers. I mean, I know a lot of the other drivers, I was going to say intimately, but that's not really the right word I was looking for, but I know them quite well, and uh, we're just good friends. But, uh... I find it very difficult to talk really seriously for any length of time on any one subject without slipping in something ridiculous. What I thought I'd do, I thought I'd bang on for a bit, and then um, if, you have any, uh, if you have any questions uh, that you might like to ask, I'll uh, um, give it a little opportunity to get them in. But don't worry if, um, if you can't think of any, because I've got several that I can ask myself, and uh, um, so I'd like to know the answers to anyway. So. You've got to control your fear. I mean, you know, I get afraid, and uh, I think that everybody gets afraid. If you don't get afraid, you've got no imagination, and you won't last long. Far too many Formula One drivers, I think, see that they're involved in motorsport. They're not. They're involved in a branch of show business, and Graham Hill realises this. He works hard at his public relations, his image, if you like. And I know I've got a bit of a reputation for being awkward, <coughs> so I'm told. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and I think this is because you know I expect I set very high standards for myself, and though it might mean somebody else working that little bit harder, it might they might think I'm being particular. But I mean I want everything to be exactly right. Without any doubt at all, Graham Hill is quite the best ambassador that British motor racing has ever had. Hmm. But are there any things hmm. that you do which are terribly personal? But Perhaps we don't know about. A wanking, you mean, or something like that. Then. You have one son, Damon. Are we ever going to see another hill in the sport? And would you like to see Damon in goggles and helmet? Uh, frankly, I don't think I would. No. Like any parent, I, I just don't think I would. I bet you just can't tell. You say you want to be, live to be 100. <laughs> Bluntly, aren't you in the wrong job for this? Yeah, that's why I want to live to be 100. <laughs> Graham, you're 40 next year. How can you keep fit enough to keep at the top the way you are at the moment? Good, clean living. <laughs> <laughs>